Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Agarwal from Informatica Cloud Product Management Team and today we will see how a file listener can trigger um, a task flow. So we have this new functionality coming in uh, in the R32 release uh, which we also call the summer 2019 release where a file listener can trigger a task flow. Uh, until date the task flows could only be triggered either through the API or from the task flow designer workspace. So the use case is that there is an online retail sales company and they expect on a daily basis files coming from different geographies. These files when they come uh, they need to be processed. They need to be processed as a data warehousing job. Uh, they have a common uh, processing mechanism which can be simulated through a mapping task. So the processing is the same for all the files which arrive uh, on the file system and then they need to be iterated over and persisted to the warehouse. While we will see that how a file listener can trigger a task flow, we will also see how uh, we can use uh, the list processing paradigm within task flow to process uh, more than one files uh, uh, using a parameterized mapping and MCD. So let me show you the file listener first. So uh, we have a file listener called R32 demo file listener. This file listener is already enabled uh, on the agent and uh, it's following certain listener rules. So it is watching for a file coming on this specific folder path. You can also pass in the wildcat characters or a regex here. Uh, in this case I have given a star out CSV pattern so it's going to look for all the CSV files arriving on uh, this specific folder path and if you want you can also uh, search for files within the subfolders. Now if I were to show you uh, how this file listener can be configured you can configure this file listener to be notified when there's a file coming onto the file system. You can also notify them when the file is updated on this specific folder path or deleted. In this case, we are just looking at uh, files coming to the file system. There are a bunch of other properties that you can configure in the file listener, uh, which also includes schedule. Now let's look at how we are uh, using this file listener. But before I do that, let me start the file listener. So with the start action you can start the file listener and now with that you will notice that there is a new file listener process running uh, and listening for the files. If I go to this file listener I will notice that, that there is nothing that this file listener has found till now. So let's go back to our designer. So let me show you the task flow which is waiting on the events triggered by the file listener till date we didn't have a binding but now we have a binding called event and with this event binding you can choose a, an event type uh, the event type here is a file listener task event by default because we have chosen the file listener as an event we have got uh, the event as an input field here and I have also defined uh, various temporary fields for uh, the specific use case that we are looking at to achieve with the task flow so as I already mentioned, the use case is that we get multiple files coming from different uh, sales branches in different geographies. So we are getting a list of such files uh, from, the, uh, from the file listener. The first step would be to get the number of files which are coming on from the file system as part of file listener event and maintain certain housekeeping information in terms of the current count of arrived files and the remaining count of arrived files. So what we do is we will first uh, get to know if there is any file that we have to consume. If there is a file to consume which is decided through uh, the count variable that we have here, we will trigger a data task which will internally call an MCD uh, and which is calling a parameterized mapping. And we will pass as part of the input field we will pass the source file name and the target file name and the source file name that we are passing here is the first file in the list. Once that has been executed we will ensure that we update the variables that maintain the state information. So for example at this point we have already seen one file so we can increment the counter by one uh, which also means that the remaining count of the files uh, is lessened by one and then we again go back and look for more files till we exhaust the entire list at the end of which we uh, end the task flow. So let me now show you how this will be triggered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to 
read certain files as I'm going to publish certain files to this file system so I'm taking three such files and I'm gonna write these files to the file system that the file is listening to okay now let's go back and check uh, if the file listener was able to uh, read these files so as you would notice there are three new uh, files which have been uh, listened to by the file listener and these are available here and at this point it should have already started the task flow as you would notice there's a task flow running here let's look at the subtask so it's running the first MCT here which completed and now it's right the second one and the third one and let me also show you if we have passed the right parameters in here so if you look at the f the third MCD we have passed the event 1 here look at the second MCD we have passed event 2 here and if you look at the third MCD we have passed event 3 here let's go back and look at the task flow execution so if you click on the task flow here you would notice that uh, the path it took was initially to run these three data tasks uh, in a sequence and then it went exhausted it completed successfully let's also look at the target so as you would notice we are writing the target to the same file system so it wrote three files to the file system and as you would notice that it's writing the files with the .tgt extension uh, as you would remember that our file listener is configured to read from this file system but because uh, it was configured to read only the .csv extension files uh, it should not read the .tgt files that were being placed by the mapping task execution uh, so let's go and check uh, did our file listener read those new files and it didn't so thanks for watching this video I hope it was useful.